Hello, it's Danny Ashley here with GL Home Buyers. I'm at 504 Southeast 19th Street. Uh, we're at the end of week three on our project, and uh, it's looking really good. We have had some some minor delays uh, caused by um, just numerous things that we had to change in the scope of work on this project. Um, just to give you a brief rundown on what we've changed. Um, we've went on due to an ant problem decided that we need to go on and tear out all the sheetrock in the entire house so now what was uh, going to be just a patch and repair is now a, a full sheetrock install which is going to make the end project you know look a heck of a lot better and it's literally going to be a brand new house it's got uh, also we decided to go on and throw on some uh, some new siding so uh, we're excited about how this has turned out and uh, I'll kind of give you a video tour as I'm going but uh, so anyway you walk down you get the kitchen in front of you as you walk down the hallway and you turn towards the right you can see our bathroom or what was originally the bathroom and we've added the new window in got it the new window framed in uh, they had it blocked off originally so uh, we did have to increase the size of this bathroom to allow room for the the new tub and the layout that we uh, determined so uh, the new bathroom is framed in with all new subfloor throughout the house, as you can see. And uh, you come into the master bedroom, you can see our new windows are installed. This room, other than you know half a day's worth of work in the entire house on upgrading the electrical, all the new boxes are in and ready for the wire to be run. So this room is pretty much ready for drywall as well as the uh, other two bedrooms. So you can see that the new windows are in. They look great. They operate great. Um, we're excited about where we're at on this project. So I can't wait to continue moving forward the beginning of the week. So you come into the third bedroom, and you can see that the only piece of subflooring left to uh, install is in the closet. So, um, yeah, we're excited. So you walk down the hallway, and you come back to the living room. One of the sizzle features that we added to this house that you will see is the half wall going to the you know from the that surrounds the basement steps so you can actually see from the kitchen into the living room making this entire living area feel much bigger you know when you're in it so um, it's awesome we're excited it, we, it turned out really well again I, I said in the last video you can see the new uh, double doors with the screen or with the uh, built-in uh, blinds and it's awesome because this was just a wall here and it'll now be a double French door leading out to the back uh, deck. So you can kind of see out there that we've got some uh, some rainfall. Um, so we'll go downstairs and I'll show you what the basement looks like. It looks really great. We've got some tools laying around so bear with me on uh, the clutter. It's just uh, we're in uh, mid-framing, so, and it is Saturday. So you can see that the concrete floor's busted up. Um, they've, they're laying the plumbing out now. We've got the bathroom, new bathroom framed in down here. This was just an open room, and we've made it, you know, we made a, another bathroom down here to make this a two-bedroom, three-bath. So it'll look really good inside. I'm not sure exactly what the layout is, but from... You know when it comes to the placement of the the sink and the toilet, but the shower is going to go in this corner here, and either the toilet and sink is going to go in this area. So this uh, bathroom is a lot bigger than we originally anticipated, and we just thought it was a necessary thing for this house. You can see all the way into the garage, which will all be framed in. We're going to wall that in at a later time. So, um, but if you look over here, you can see that we got this all framed in. Uh, tore all the old the walls out and the paneling and we're able to you know get that taken care of and it'll all be drywalled as well by next week so um, there you can see over there in the corners where the breaker panel is now this will be the laundry room uh, the breaker panel is going to get moved over to this corner here uh, per KCPNL codes so um, Anyway, that'll be taking place this week as well. And the new heat pump system is going to be installed probably Wednesday and Thursday. It'll be complete. All new ductwork, uh, heat pump, furnace, everything. So let's go outside and look at the weather that we're having currently. Yes. What a swamp. So one of the things that we noticed that the last couple days 
working on the house is that uh, the brick that we were originally going to keep on the house is falling off. One of the other unexpected delays. So we're going to have to build that out and put the new T11 smart siding on it and it's going to make it look like a brand new house. And you can see the new siding here. So, yeah, the, the brick across the whole front of the house is starting to fall off, and we don't want to take any chances. Uh, we were going to anchor it back on, but we decided it would be best if we just uh, just took it off and made the whole house look uniform with itself and start fresh. So, uh, all right. So we got two weeks of rehab left. You can see that we have made a lot of progress. A lot of unexpected things came up, and we were able to get them taken care of. Some of that was uh, some rotten subflooring, um, some extra framing, this uh, half wall sizzle feature that we had considered at one point, but we actually decided to go on and, and implement it in, and taking out all the sheetrock, the siding, uh, the bricks falling off, uh, bearing the, the power line. So those are all things that... Um, like I said, we're unexpected. We're going to get them taken care of, and, uh, and uh, this project so far is still looking like it's on track for completion date uh, two weeks out. So we've got about, uh, guesstimating, about 14 days left in rehab. And on that 15th day, we should be having, actually 14 days out, we should be having our open house, maybe on Sunday, which is going to be 15 out. So last view of the stairs. You can see that this is going to be added in another wall here. So, all right. We will uh, update you here in a couple days. Uh, it'll dry out by tomorrow. We're going to have some warmer weather, some uh, get to see the sun again. And uh, we'll uh, shoot you another video here in a couple days. This is uh, Danny Ashley with GL Home Buyers. I'm at the 504 Southeast 19th Street house. And you will start seeing uh, videos on the other projects that we've got going on as well in the near, uh, near days. So sometime this week we should be getting uh, two of the other projects started, Independence and our, our Kingsway property. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm Danny Ashley with GL Homebuyers.